All right, we are at the Comfort Inn in Lynchburg, Virginia, and this is gonna be a tour of room 225, which is a king suite. You have the magnetic style lock. And as you open the door, you are greeted with this really huge room. Of course, we have interior corridors, and this is kind of interesting. As soon as you walk in the door, off to your left is the microwave and the refrigerator, which does not have a freezer, and those are my strawberries. Also to the left is the closet, which actually has doors, an iron, and an ironing board. There's the room. We'll get to that here in just a second. This is your bathroom, and it is quite large. Has the exact same sink as the last Comfort Inn we stayed at. Really big mirror and plenty of light for shaving in this one. The sink is a Meridian Accents, and that's what was at the last Comfort Inn we stayed at. Over here is your toilet. We're going to check it for cleanliness. Looks pretty clean. There's some st a permanent stain on the seat, though. It's a uh, Mansfield, rather cheap toilet. Here is your bathtub, which I like a bathtub. More and more hotels are going away from them. A nice Delta shower head. Let's check out the pressure. Pressure's adequate. I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but it's definitely adequate. And now we're going to go into the room where over there we have a Zach. In this nice lounger. And look at this. This is a king suite. It's almost like it's one big room with a small divider. So over here you have this chair right here. You have a Davenport. Let me see if there's a hide -a bed in here. You do have a hide -a bed so you could... In theory, sleep two more people, although it would be tight on that. Though there is no extra bedding in this room, so I don't know how you would do that. Zach pointed that out. Okay, here's your workstation right here with the telephone. And the TV set, which is an LG flat screen TV. Plenty of drawer space, but one thing, if you stand here at the TV and turn around all the way... You'll notice you're looking at a wall. So whether you're sitting there or laying on the bed, you have to turn to look at the TV. This is a nice little piece of furniture. I assume this is where you would put your grip. Out here, you have an amazing view of the motor lobby and the airport. There's the airport over there. And you can see down there at the motor lobby. Friedrich. I don't think that AC is going to control this whole room. HVAC unit, which you control from the wall, which I'll show in a minute. Here is the bed. So, Zach, I'm going to let you try out the bed and tell me what you think of the bed. The last one was super hard. It was. What hotel was that? Where was that? Uh, that was the Comfort Blacksburg. Inn. Blacksburg. Yeah. All right, let's see how this one is. Ooh. Um, it's a little bit softer. Softer? And the sheets feel softer. These sheets feel really nice. Do you think these are like All right. They have oh. a big, thick, like, oh, yeah. thing on it. Let's see what's in the other side. There's Let's... a mattress protector on it. You can already see that. You have a Bible, but no phone book. All right, now the big question about these beds I always ask. Is it clean? Pull is the first sheet up first. The Look. first sheet? This sheet. This Let's, pull. Let's pull back there. I take no yeah. exception to that. All right, pull the next one off. I don't see anything. Clean. There's a lot of pillows. And under here, uh, I see pillows, one speck of dust and one hair, something. which to me is acceptable. I guess that's as far but as you can that's go. That's zippered on. So yeah, yeah, this is acceptable. Acceptable, yes. It's clean enough to pass my cleanliness test. So yes, this hotel is clean. So Zach, how much did we pay for this really spacious room? Ninety-seven dollars a night. Ninety-seven dollars a night. You're on a weekday, though. I should make that clear. I don't know what this is on the weekends. I promised I would show you all this before I end. Here's the thermostat, 
with a low battery. So I'll put it on cool for now. Yep, let's set it down to 68. There we go. It should kick in in a minute. So what do you think of this place, Zach? Oh, it's huge. I think this might be the biggest hotel room we've ever stayed in. It's a very nice hotel room. Like you can hear an echo. It's so big. <laughs> so with that like being it. said, it's nice. Bye. The video's over, but it doesn't have to be. You can always watch more and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and light up that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.